Good evening, everyone. My name is Sanjeev, and this is my wife, Fancy. Thank you so much for joining us online on uh, the uh, Petra Ministries online service. Today being a wonderful Friday, we'd like to start with a word, a word from Philippines. Philippines 4, 4 to 7 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Give me a small background about, uh, about the verse. Paul is basically writing this word, this letter to the Philippines church who was actually going through some trials and tribulations and challenges. Uh, and he just wants the church to rejoice. Rejoice in the sense uh, he just wants the church to praise the Lord and worship the Lord and be happy in it. Now coming to the current scenario, we are currently going through a challenging time. We are currently going through a difficult time. We are quarantined at home and it is a blessing that each one of us are part of the service which is online. We would have to just rejoice. We would have to give praise. We would have to give all the worship that we have to the Lord. And yes, we will get through these times of tribulations, uh, through these time, uh, times of uh, trouble and uh, through this time of uh, challenges. Thank you so much for being online with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for this day, Lord. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for remembering us, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for this day, for the word that we received during the fasting and prayer, Lord. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for remembering us once again, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, our Father. Lord, we have Abba. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, once again, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, for giving us, Lord Jesus, your everlasting word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for keeping us safe, Lord. Hallelujah. From every sickness, oh, from every harm's way, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we want to thank you about Father. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For every single moment of our lives, for every single breath that we, hallelujah, have, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we want to thank you for your protection, Lord, from harm's way, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Thank you about Father. Thank you about Father. Thank you about Father. Hallelujah. Glorify your name, Lord. Hallelujah. We want to lift up our voice to praise you alone, Lord Jesus. Worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we want to thank you about Father. We want to thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I want to oh, read this scriptures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Passage of scripture. Hallelujah. In Genesis 8, 1. It said, And God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters assuaged. And in verses 11, And a dove came in to him in the evening, and lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off. So Noah knew that the waters were abated from off the earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. In one of the versions, it says, in 8 verses 1, And God remembered and thought kindly of Noah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, I want to remind you that Lord remembered. Hallelujah. Lord is remembering each one of us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. As those who are hearing over the, through, the, uh, through the internet, hallelujah. I want you to remind you that hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord is remembering you right now, hallelujah. Lord is remembering you right now. And he sent a wind, hallelujah. In, uh, he's going to send you a wind in your direction, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Glorify your name, Lord Jesus. The Lord is going to remember. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to remember you in your situation. Hallelujah. And he's going to send you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Favorable wind upon the situation. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, and when verses 11, it says, Hallelujah. And behold, a dove came with a hallelujah, olive leaf, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Holy Spirit of God, hallelujah. Who is gonna, uh, God is going to send, uh, send the wind, uh, hallelujah, over your life and He's going to bring the Holy, Holy Spirit, going to bring, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, uh, uh, sh- olive shoot. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glorify your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, in the Old Testament, if Lord, God can remember Noah, hallelujah. How much more in the New Testament, huh? we who are washed by the precious blood of Jesus, hallelujah. We who are, hallelujah, consecrated by the precious blood of Jesus. We who are, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, oh, grafted into his family, hallelujah. Oh, worship you, Lord. Glorify your name, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hello, come on, church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us pray. Come on, church. Let us pray in tongues. Hallelujah. Rabba, Rasha, and that Kabaranda, Halabara, Bada, Balta, Randa, Halabara, Bada. The Lord is going to remember each one of us. Halabara, Bada, Barandura, Valaba, Lamba, Rada, Ratke, Laraba, Abadam, Bada, Bandula, Bola, Gratula, Bola, Gashan, Dalabara, Bada, Palke, Raban, Dalaba, the Bara, then Karabandu, Loda, Bata, Landa. Oh, Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Oh, Lord is going to remember each one of us in the midst of Hallelujah. This uh, recession. Lord is going to remember each one of us. Hallelujah. Even when Hallelujah, the winds are against us. Hallelujah. He's going to send a favorable wind over the situations. Hallelujah. Oh, Holy Spirit of God is going to come hallelujah, with a holy shoot. Hallelujah. An egg, oh, hallelujah. The app message. An app. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, the uh, favorable wind over us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, which is something that is apt for our life. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Those who, hallelujah. Those who want, hallelujah. A financial blessing. Hallelujah. It's going to send that over you on your way, hallelujah. Those who want a healing, he's gonna send that, hallelujah. Or those who want a deliverance, he's gonna send that over your life, hallelujah. Worship you, Lord, Raba, Randa, Shuda, Randa, Randa, Ramba, Labando, Rega, Rada, Ramba, Rada, Rada, Rapa, Rega, Rodo, Rodo, Shira, Randa, Rabildo, Rabba, Rabanda, Rada, Granda, Ragalda, Raka, Rada. Reba Rondo, Roko, Reda, Raba, Renda, Roto, Reda, Raka, Redo, Randa, Rada, Lesha, Reda, Raba, Renga, Roto, Rapa, Raka, Renda, Rato, Rondo, come on, ha, a little praying thanks with me, church, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Raba, Nanda, Rabando, Randa, Ragalaba, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, let your faith arise when you worship in the tongues, Hallelujah, Raba, Randa, Rabeda, Batu, Raga, Randa, Rabeda, Rapa, Reka, Renda, Ragalga, Nada, Rande, Rabi, Reda, Rabi, Rongo, Roto, Reda, Rando, Roto, Roto, Robo, Roto, Reda, ரபே <laughs> Labarandali, Shundo Raki, Lando Rabbe, Labet Kilamba, Rotolanda, the Balaba, Lando, Randa, the Bad Cabaranda, the Galaba. Oh, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we want to thank you once again, Lord, for giving us your word, Lord, and ever, you are everlasting word, our Lord Jesus. Abba, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we pray together, Hallelujah, as a church, oh, along with our pastor and his family. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, remember each one of us in these times, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. We want to lift up your name today, Lord. Hallelujah. For this is the day that the Lord has made and we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Oh, would you rejoice, church? The Bible says rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Hallelujah. Oh, would you believe that this is the day that the Lord has made so that you will rejoice in it? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The very reason that you will rejoice today is not because everything is going your way. It is not because...
because every prayer has been answered it is not because the desires of your heart has been fulfilled but let me tell you the very reason why you are rejoicing in the lord today is that he is still the god on the throne hallelujah oh yes would you give praise and would you give glory wherever you are would you join us hallelujah when we are in one accord the bible says that the presence of god will move the holy spirit of god the fire of god will come down hallelujah we believe this time as we pray as we stand together as a church the power of god will move amidst us hallelujah holy spirit of god we welcome you in our midst oh lord oh yes father we bring the church oh lord through the blood of jesus hallelujah before the throne of grace above father we pray that your mercy shall find us today lord that your blood shall speak a better word oh lord over our lives father we believe oh lord hallelujah during this time oh lord yes lord we humble ourselves oh lord hallelujah as we humble ourselves oh lord under your mighty hands oh lord that we shall find favor we shall find grace we shall find mercy we shall find forgiveness oh lord in your presence oh lord thank you lord thank you father that we can come before the throne of grace with boldness today father hallelujah thank you lord oh jesus hallelujah the bible says he who comes to god must believe that he is that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him today church i encourage you to diligently seek him the lord is so close to us he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him would you come together believing that he is near to you he is close to you that he is still able in your life Hallelujah the bible says he is able to do exceedingly abundantly than what we can ask or think or imagine oh yes church will you would you bring forth your confidence before the lord oh yes there's a reward for confidence before the lord would you come before the father with confidence knowing that he will answer your prayers knowing that he will take care of you Oh yes Lord hallelujah I encourage you church would you lean on to the understanding of God the bible says trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding but in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path Today Lord we want to lean unto you Lord lean unto your wisdom O oh Lord we want to cancel every worldly wisdom father every wisdom of the world Lord every voice of the enemy Lord we want to cancel it O oh Father over our lives O oh Lord as a church O oh Lord when we stand together O oh Lord in unity Lord we believe O oh Lord that we will we, there will be the release of your wisdom O oh Lord your understanding O oh Lord upon our church O oh Lord hallelujah oh yes father thank you Lord we believe O oh Father during this season oh father hallelujah like isaac sowed in famine and he reaped a hundredfold the church oh lord when it is being brought, when it is going through a tough season oh father this is a time that we are going to believe that we will see like isaac oh lord a hundredfold being released into our lives oh father hallelujah yes father let the heavenly realms be open oh father oh we pray for open heaven oh lord over our lives oh father oh release forth oh lord hallelujah your blessings oh lord oh your enlargement oh lord your dew upon heaven or oh, fr from heaven oh father the hallelujah oh yes father thank you lord oh yes father would you release the dew of heaven oh lord upon our people oh lord hallelujah let every dryness oh lord be broken over the lives oh father hallelujah the fatness of the earth oh lord would you release it forth oh lord hallelujah oh yes thank you father that you have promised oh lord that we have an inheritance oh lord amongst the saints oh father thank you lord oh yes those who are worried oh lord that there is no inheritance on this earth i believe oh lord during this season you shall release forth an inheritance oh lord the bible says i have a good inheritance in god and the lines have fallen for me in pleasant places oh would you claim it church would you lift up your hands wherever you are would you claim it church that you have a good inheritance in the lord oh yes it is the lord who maintains your lot hallelujah oh yes you have an inheritance amongst the saints hallelujah would you believe it hallelujah oh yes father thank you jesus hallelujah oh yes father during this season oh lord as pastor prayed oh lord as pastor taught oh lord hallelujah we are going to step into new paths oh father oh yes father the paths your paths oh lord that drips oh lord with abundance of oh father hallelujah oh yes father the path that drips with butter oh father hallelujah oh yes father the path of life oh lord hallelujah where we will see enlargement oh lord where we will see hallelujah fresh anointing so oh lord fresh gifting so oh father hallelujah release it forth oh lord hallelujah giftings calling so oh lord we call it forth oh lord we call those things that are not oh lord 
as though they are oh lord hallelujah oh yes lord a little one shall become like a thousand and a small one a strong nation i the lord will hasten it in time the word says hallelujah oh father release forth oh lord enlargement oh lord multiplication oh lord over your people oh lord your children shall not lack oh father hallelujah we command every spirit of lack poverty to be broken in the blood name of jesus hallelujah yes lord every spirit of oppression every spirit of depression we come against it we break its power over the church in the name of jesus hallelujah rada rada rakhe rakhe rade oh yes father wherever you are would you pray in tongues would you join in prayer in one accord hallelujah can we make this prayer before the throne of grace hallelujah thank you lord thank you jesus hallelujah thara bara dere oh yes father every spirit of rebellion oh father we break its power in the name of jesus every attack oh lord against the minds oh lord hallelujah we break its power in the name of jesus hallelujah yes father hallelujah oh yes father the power of the past oh lord oh the tormenting spirits of oh father we command to leave the church in the name of jesus hallelujah oh yes father yes father oh release your freedom oh lord release the freedom the holy spirit of oh father hallelujah oh father hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord we want to honor you lord we want to worship you lord we pray lord as we call upon your name oh lord you will release oh lord hallelujah that atmosphere of heaven oh father hallelujah hallelujah yes father we are seated in the heavenly places oh lord hallelujah with christ jesus oh yes lord we pray that the atmosphere of heaven oh lord the air of heaven oh lord shall come down and break the power of the air above lord hallelujah oh yes lord we pray oh lord that the air above shall be filled with the power and the presence of god hallelujah oh yes father thank you lord thank you jesus oh holy spirit of god we pray that you will come and hover over the earth this time oh lord Oh yes father in the beginning yes lord you came you hovered oh lord you sent your spirit oh lord and the spirit of god hovered oh lord over nothingness oh lord over void oh lord over darkness oh father yes lord oh yes and it created something of beauty lord something of marvel oh lord even during these dark seasons oh father we believe oh lord that the spirit of god is hovering oh lord oh yes father hallelujah even this during this season oh lord we have every reason to believe oh lord that we can rejoice oh lord because you are still on the throne oh lord the bible says all things work together for the good of those who love god and are called according to your purpose hallelujah even this time oh lord we believe oh lord as a church together oh lord that you're building us up oh lord oh yes lord that you're clothing us oh lord with strength oh lord that you're release, releasing a fresh mantle over the church oh lord that you're releasing fresh doors oh lord fresh dimensions oh lord hallelujah thank you father yes lord hallelujah oh yes lord we want to thank you for the man of god that you have placed over the church oh lord thank you lord for the anointing that's upon him oh lord thank you lord for the covering oh lord that we have under him oh lord hallelujah oh yes lord we pray that the hedge of protection of your precious blood shall be around him around the family lord yes lord that the greater glory shall be revealed over their lives oh lord that you shall guard the glory within their family lord hallelujah yes lord hallelujah they shall go from strength unto strength oh lord hallelujah oh yes father thank you lord thank you jesus for your provision oh Lord of the shepherd oh Lord over our lives oh Lord hallelujah thank you lord for joe's uncle father thank you lord for rajesh shet and uh, father hallelujah yes lord the families oh lord we bring them all under the precious blood oh lord all that they have and all that they are oh lord hallelujah oh yes father we bring it all under the blood of jesus hallelujah Oh yes father let the shepherd let the enemy not strike the shepherds oh lord hallelujah yes father let your blood speak a better word lord the same protection to flow over the churches oh lord hallelujah <clears throat> Yes Lord hallelujah we pray for our churches in Kerala father hallelujah yes for uh, the Bahrain church oh lord the Ranchi church oh lord the Mangalore church oh lord hallelujah yes lord for all our churches oh lord we pray that your precious blood covering shall be upon us oh lord that your glory cloud oh lord shall keep us oh father during this season oh lord hallelujah oh yes lord hallelujah the sun shall not strike us by day nor the moon by night oh father hallelujah thousand may fall at our side and 10000 at our right hand but it shall not come near us so oh father hallelujah only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked father hallelujah oh jesus oh jesus 
Oh yes Lord we want to glorify your mighty name Lord Hallelujah Oh Jesus yes Father Hallelujah Every spirit of distraction to be broken Every spirit that's trying to attack the health Oh Lord Hallelujah We command Oh Lord it to be broken out of the church in the name of Jesus Every spirit of envy Every spirit of insecurity Command it to be broken Father Hallelujah We pray that you shall release pure hearts Oh Lord Hallelujah Oh yes Lord you shall touch our hearts Oh Lord And renew our hearts Oh Lord Once again Oh Lord To turn away from wicked ways Oh Father, we come against the oh Lord the spirit of Cain, O oh Lord, the household wickedness, O oh Lord, hallelujah, within the church, O oh Father. We pray that it shall be broken, O oh Lord, hallelujah, and the love of the Father shall be revealed, O oh Lord, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord, through the Holy Spirit of God this day, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we want to glorify you, Lord. Oh, yes, Father, we want to sit in your presence, O oh Lord. We want to sit in your at your feet, O oh Father, hallelujah. And soak, O oh Lord, hallelujah, all that you have to give us, O oh Father, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, release forth fresh manna, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Father, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus, hallelujah. We surrender the leaders of our nation, O oh Father, leaders of our church, O oh Lord, hallelujah. Oh, leaders of each locality, Father, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. We pray that your heavenly wisdom shall rest upon them, hallelujah. The Bible says the king's heart is in the Lord's hand and he turns it like rivers of water wherever he wishes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh yes, Father, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh yes, Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says there are many plans in the heart of a man, but it is a Lord's counsel that will stand. Hallelujah. Oh, there's only one counsel that will stand. Oh, yes, Father, we enforce a counsel, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, of God, of Jesus, upon the nation. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter, Lord. Hallelujah. What are the other voices that's coming up? But only your decision shall stand, O oh Lord. Only your order shall move forth, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, Rabada, Rabada, Raskia. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, during this time, O oh Lord, we want to bind each and every person, O oh Lord, with your love, O oh Lord the security that comes from your love oh Father yes Lord each one with the name of Jesus with the blood of Jesus the salvation of God hallelujah the hope that is in Christ hallelujah thank you Lord hallelujah oh we want to declare that your name alone is enough Lord hallelujah we want to declare this day that your blood alone is enough Lord oh yes Lord it's more than enough for oh, Lord to speak a better word over our lives Father hallelujah thank you Jesus so oh, we want to adore you we want to lift up your name during this time oh Lord Hallelujah. We want to bring each and every person who is ministering, Lord, today. Hallelujah. We believe, O oh Lord, that the presence of God shall move through each one, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. As humble vessels, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, as they surrender their lives completely into your hands, O oh Lord. Yes, Father, we believe, O oh Lord, that your glory shall be revealed, O oh Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In the service, O oh Father. Hallelujah. We surrender each and every person, O oh Lord, under the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for each and every person. Would you join us now for a beautiful time of worship? Hallelujah! How many of you agree with me today that this is a good day to praise the Lord? Hallelujah! The Bible says, This is the day that the Lord has made, Amen. and we will Amen. rejoice Amen. and be glad of it. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Pastor recently spoke and said, There was a woman who laughed her way into her healing. Hallelujah! Today, when we rejoice in the Lord, if you can lay aside everything that's weighing you down and if you can lift up your hearts and eyes to the Lord Amen. let me tell you you will see the miracles coming into your lives Amen. into your homes Amen. hallelujah wherever you are Amen. hallelujah Amen. oh yes would you clap your hands would you join us from wherever you are would you clap your hands and praise the Lord would you lift up the name of Jesus in this place hallelujah Amen. we are going to sing a few songs and we are going to rejoice in the Lord today hallelujah Amen. yes the word says in Psalms 103, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Amen. Bless His holy name. Today we are going to bless the name of Jesus with a few songs. Join us. Hallelujah. To the King of glory and light, all praises. To the only giver of life, our maker, the gates are open wide, we worship you. Come see what love has done, amazing, he brought us with his blood, our Savior, the cross is overcome, we worship you. Oh, worship, church. Oh, shout, Hosanna, 
Jesus, he saves. Shout, Hosanna, he rose from the grave. Come and lift him up, Hosanna. Oh, worship him, church. Oh, shout, Hosanna, Jesus, he saves. Shout, Hosanna, he rose from the grave. Come and lift him up. Hosanna And now let the lost be found Forgiven That could not hold him down He's risen So let the saints cry out We worship you We worship you Oh shout Hosanna Jesus he saved Oh shout Hosanna, he rose from the grave Oh, come and lift him up Hosanna Oh, lift up his name We shout Hosanna Jesus, he saved Shout Hosanna, he rose from the grave Come and lift him up Hosanna We call upon your name, no other name. The same power that drove the stone away, the same power alive in us today. King Jesus, we call upon your name, no other name. We shout, Hosanna, Jesus, he says, shout. Hosanna, he rose from the grave Oh, come and lift him up Hosanna We shout, Hosanna Jesus, he saves Shout, Hosanna, he rose from the grave Oh, come and lift him up Hosanna Jesus, he saved, shout, Hosanna, he rose from the grave, come and lift him up, Hosanna. We shout, Hosanna, Jesus, he saved, shout, Hosanna, he rose from the grave, oh, come and lift him up, Hosanna.
your life. Hallelujah. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, the Bible says. Hallelujah. Today, the river of God that is flowing from the very presence of God, the river of the Spirit is flowing in our midst. The river is flowing into wherever you are, into your homes, into the places where you are. If you want to experience the refreshing of God, let me tell you, let me encourage you. Let aside everything and jump by faith. Take a leap into the river of God. Hallelujah. And drink of it. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. You will experience a refreshing. This is a river that brings restoration. This is a river that brings healing. This is a river of provision in your life. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Would you keep your eyes fixed on Jesus? And would you lift him up with a song? Once again, hallelujah. Oh yes, Father, we want to give our hearts to you, Lord. Oh, we want to give our praises to you, Lord. We know you are enthroned on the praises of your people. Hallelujah. Oh, join us, church. Hallelujah. The wind is beginning to blow. I can feel it. The river is starting to flow.
the Robin And I'm too strong to stay He alone has conquered The power of the grave And glory The ruler of my heart No one else above him None is such his word The hope of his returning Fills the universe And glory Oh
yes do you know that the lord spoke you into existence hallelujah he has carved your name in the palm of his very hands and he promised you that he will never leave you nor forsake you it is the same god who promised that i know the plans that i have for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you a future and a hope today can you surrender your lives into the hands of god your plans into the hands of god know that he has a better plan over your life the bible says be anxious for nothing hallelujah be anxious for nothing would you lift up the name of jesus once again leaving everything at your feet dropping every worry every care of the world at the feet of jesus would you run to the presence of the father with a song once again hallelujah 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 thank you hallelujah there is none like you lord jesus. amen yes hallelujah lord. there is thank none you, like jesus. you lord oh, hallelujah yes, hallelujah jesus. hallelujah you and you deserve all the glory lord jesus Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. All our glory, hallelujah. All our praise, oh, all yes, our glory Amen. belongs Amen. to you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We want to praise you. Glory for your name, Lord Jesus. Oh, let us worship the, our Lord with this song. Hallelujah. 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 hallelujah.
break free into a new dimension. Oh, would you call upon the name of Jesus? Would you fix your gaze on the throne of God? Hallelujah. You will for surely find mercy and surely find grace. Hallelujah. Oh, rejoice. Sing with us, church. Hallelujah. Join us. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. Father, this evening we thank you having brought us here in your mighty and your matchless name. Your word declares that us approach the throne of grace with boldness, knowing that we shall find mercy and of grace of help in the time of need. We thank you having allowed us to worship in spirit and in truth. Even as we are going to listen to the word of the Lord, I ask you Lord to anoint us afresh, O Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for the five days you gave us to praise and to worship you and to listen to your word and to meditate the beauty of your word. We pray as we come into the presence of the Holy Spirit. We pray that he shall anoint us afresh. We pray that the eyes of our heart shall be enlightened. We pray that he shall give us a fresh direction. We pray that he shall release new wisdom. We pray that he shall give us new deliverances and victories in our lives, Lord. We commit our lives to your hands, Lord, this night, Lord. We pray, Lord. It is you, O the Lord, of your of our breakthrough, Lord. It is the Lord who is hallelujah who is enthroned in the praises of his people Lord it is the Lord who is in the throne O oh Lord it is the Lord hallelujah who is in the victorious throne and we are seated with him Lord hallelujah in the heavenly places far above all principalities and authorities dominion is hallelujah father hallelujah father this night we enforce the victory of the cross of Calvary upon each and every life Lord Rabadi Oscar as we worship the Lord once again we enforce your victory we enforce your healing we enforce your deliverance we enforce your breakthroughs Lord victory by the blood of Jesus we give you praise we give you glory Lord we give you honor in Jesus name father we pray amen 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 let's worship the Lord with this song hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord thank you Jesus is falling, is falling, falling. Mercy is falling like a sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, is falling all over again. Mercy is falling, oh hallelujah. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Mercy is falling like a sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, is falling all over again. Oh, hey ho, hey ho, we receive your mercy. Hey ho, I receive your mercy. Hey ho, I receive your mercy. Hey ho, I receive your mercy. Hey ho, hey ho, hey ho. I receive your mercy, hey ho! I receive your grace, hey ho! I will dance forever. Bada 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 da 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 da. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Oh, 
Let the freedom of the Lord flow today, Lord. Worship in the freedom. Worship in the freedom. There is freedom in the house of God. There is freedom in your houses. Receive it now. Hey ho, hallelujah. Hey ho. Oh, hey ho. I receive your. Hey ho. I will dance forever more. Put your hands together. Hey ho. I receive your mercy. Hey ho, I receive your grace. Hey ho, I will dance forever. Lift your hands and say, Hey ho, I receive your mercy, Lord. Hey ho, I receive your mercy. Hey ho, I receive your grace. Hey ho. I will dance forevermore. Let's sing it a little more faster this morning. Hallelujah. Hey ho, I receive your mercy. Hey ho, I receive your grace. Hey ho, I will dance forevermore. Everybody come on, touch. Hey ho, hey ho, hey. Hey, ho, I receive your mercy. Hey, ho, I receive your grace. Oh, yeah. Hey, ho, I will dance forevermore. Oh, hey, ho, I receive your mercy. Hey, ho, I receive your grace. Hey, ho, I will dance forevermore. Lift your hands. Bless the name of the Lord. Come on, church. Put your hands together. Come on, people of God. In your homes, put your hands together. Praise Him. Lift your holy name. Hallelujah. The anointing of God is here. The chains are being broken. People are being set free. The doors are being opened. It is flung open. Hallelujah. Prisoners are coming out. Every one of you in the name of the Lord. Hey, ho. I receive your mercy. Hey, ho. Victory by the blood of Jesus, not by might, it's no by power, but by the Holy Spirit. Bless His holy name, hallelujah. There is supernatural deliverance flowing, hallelujah. There is miracles happening, hallelujah. Receive it all as you worship the Lord. I will dance forever. Oh, lift your hands and worship it. The Lord is in this house. Hallelujah. The Lord is in the place. Hallelujah. Victory by the blood of Jesus. I will sing of your love forever. Yes, Lord. We'll sing of your love forever. 
this evening we want to thank you having brought us together in your mighty and your matchless name we thank you Lord that it is your blood that cleanses us and set us free even as we come to listen to your word we pray that the blood of Jesus Christ to speak a better word over our lives better than the blood of Abel we thank you Lord for this time we thank you having allowed us to worship you we thank you for the glory of God in this house Lord in the houses, Lord, that the people are worshipped. Hallelujah, Lord. Rabba dara shandara bashkutora brakya. Labra dhyos patora mrotamene. Labra tani asparota namastya. Victory by the blood of Jesus. Father Rahatha Boshadara. The Lord is touching families this weekend. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing of God speaking. Hallelujah. Over the families, destroying every yoke inside the houses, inside the lives, inside the hearts inside the relationships that the demons that have influenced your lives and your families the lord is supernaturally mm, intervening in your situations hallelujah coming into your homes and releasing homes releasing husbands wives hallelujah from evil thoughts from evil minds from evil decisions in the name of jesus so we give you praise we give you glory, we give you honor. Ram Pratosh Pathara, Prada de Rescateria, Lobra de Raskaran, the Namana Hustaran, the Rambas, the Road Harama Hustere, the Re, Vikal Parutanama Stara, the Randa, Shutamana Samba, and Turamana Hustera, the Nandara. Victory by the blood of Jesus. We give you praise, we give you glory. Ram Pratosh Pathara, Branti, Ospatari, Grati, Askatere, Ospatara, Branti, Ono Spinani, Aspinacal, Kurosh Pathari, Branti, Nebe, Baraskaria. Thank you, Jesus. So we worship you, Lord. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. How many of you enjoy the presence of God? Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Even if you are sitting at home, know that the presence of the Lord is in the house. I don't encourage you to switch on your mobile phones 
switch on the hallelujah gadgets switch it off hallelujah we are sitting under the glory of jesus christ hallelujah so receive the word from heaven receive the word of the living god hallelujah don't allow your heart to be destroyed and distracted hallelujah by extra voices i am asking you for a total undivided attention this evening through the power of his holy name hallelujah the bible says the place that we are is holy hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah the lord told joshua hallelujah where you are standing is holy ground hallelujah whenever you come hallelujah into the presence of god knowing that the consciousness knowing that the lord is here and then a holy ground will release hallelujah you went to the next level in the name of jesus hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord so this evening i ask you hallelujah in the name of jesus hallelujah to take your bibles a lot of scriptures hallelujah take your bibles be ready to be open to the word of the lord hallelujah glory to god and be encouraged this hallelujah evening after five days of fasting and prayer hallelujah this is a word to encourage you this is a word to take you after the lockdown hallelujah into the straight into the purposes and plan of god hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord i want to open your bible into exodus chapter 12 and the seventh verse the bible says hallelujah the book of exodus chapter 12 and the seven verse and they shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and on the lintel of the houses where they eat it hallelujah if you want to title the word preserved by the blood we've been listening on to the series of preservation this evening hallelujah praise god i want to share a word pastor has shared on the preservation through the blood of jesus christ hallelujah there is preservation through the blood that's why we took some time to worship the lord every time before we listen about the blood of jesus it is important that our heart is lifted up in worship our heart is hallelujah praise the lord has come into a place where we can receive the revelation and the power of his holy blood and i pray this night that shall have an encounter of the blood of jesus if our life has to change you need to have an encounter in the blood of jesus christ this night hallelujah i pray that the encounter in the inside the blood in the blood of jesus christ hallelujah is going to remove hallelujah every demonic oppression and demonic sickness every struggles and every hallelujah season where you have not seen miracles are going to be removed from your life i am believing that you're going to step out into a day-to-day -day seasons of miracles a day-to-day -day miracles in the name of jesus hallelujah our church is going to enter into a hallelujah day today a day where we're going to see the miracle every day of our lives hallelujah we want to activate through praise we want to activate through worship we want to activate through faith in the blood of jesus christ Amen. hallelujah one more scripture hebrews chapter 10 and the 29th towards the bible says oh how much more punishment do you suppose will be thought worthy who has trampled the son of god underfoot counted the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified a common thing and insulted the spirit of grace i do not know whether you listen to it it says of how much more punishment do you suppose will be thought worthy who has trampled the son of god underfoot counted the blood of the covenant by which he has sanctified a common thing and insulted the spirit of grace we don't want to insult the spirit of grace the bible says the moment that we count the blood of jesus uh, ordinary thing we are insulting the spirit of grace hallelujah lift your hands and hallelujah for some time thank the lord hallelujah and honor the blood of jesus christ at your homes hallelujah we want to honor we want to thank for the blood of jesus christ blessed be the name of the lord we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor blessed be the name of the lord hallelujah amen the bible says you never tremble the blood of jesus under your foot because then there is no forgiveness of sins no more sacrifice of sins if you keep the blood away hallelujah if you insult the blood and if you hallelujah shut it out of your life then there is no more sacrifice for your sins hallelujah it's not a common thing it's an extraordinary power hallelujah flowing through the blood of the lamb hallelujah praise the lord it is important that every church hallelujah time and again listen to a teaching on the blood of jesus christ 
hallelujah that energizes us that releases us hallelujah to the senses of our authority hallelujah that releases us in the enlightenment in our, in our walking with god that releases us in the dominion and in the power of the cross of calvary hallelujah and i pray a supernatural release right now to the one who is listening to me hallelujah you are being released right now into a fresh level of dominion to take hold of your territory that's right hallelujah this talk is going to release you to take hold of your territories once again in the name of jesus hallelujah you just read exodus chapter 7 hallelujah and they shall put the blood upon the two doorposts and on the lentil of the house and the bible says in exodus chapter 12 verses 12 and 13 for i will pass through the land of egypt on that night and will strike all the firstborn on the land of egypt both man and beast and against all the gods of egypt and i will execute judgment for i am the lord now the blood shall be a sign everybody say blood shall be a sign for you and on your houses where you are and when i see the blood i will pass over you and the plague shall not be on you the virus shall not be on you to destroy you when i strike the land of egypt the bible says the blood shall be a sign for you and for your houses where the blood is there i will pass over you Amen. hallelujah they applied the doorpost hallelujah praise the lord on the lintel of the houses they applied the doorpost on the two doorposts they did not put the blood hallelujah on the ground because the bible says you shall not trample the blood under your feet hallelujah the bible says they put the blood on the lintel of the houses we never put the blood on the ground hallelujah praise the lord because we never hallelujah look the, down on the blood hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah come on somebody never look down on the blood of jesus christ blessed be the name of the lord he said when i see the blood when i see you honoring the blood like that hallelujah the lord is saying i'm looking for a family i'm looking for a home i'm looking for somebody who will honor the blood of jesus christ hallelujah he's not looking at your car he's not looking at your talents he's not looking at the car you drive he's not even looking at your morality he's looking where the blood is shed he's looking at the where the blood of jesus christ is applied and he said then i will pass over you hallelujah come on somebody hallelujah he is looking for the blood of the lamb hallelujah blessed be the name of jesus victory by the blood of jesus he is looking hallelujah at the blood of Jesus he's not looking at what you have done what you have failed to do he's not looking at the good things that you have done he's looking to see whether you have put your faith in the blood of Jesus and that's what make a difference in your lives that's what brings temporary hallelujah changes and make you a powerful instrument in the hands of God God is not looking for our righteousness or our spirituality not the length of prayer hallelujah or the Bible knowledge of we have or the fasting and the prayer that you have done he is looking whether we have put our faith in the blood of the lord in the blood of jesus all that is good but he is looking whether we have faith in the blood of jesus christ hallelujah and that's what make the blood destroy a pass over us that makes hallelujah the miracles come into your houses that makes hallelujah the one who's barren to give impregnated that makes the church to be fruitful that makes hallelujah eyes to be on the Lord where we look to the Lord for the author and the perfecter of our faith it is only through the blood that makes our eyes single-minded single focused on the Lord Exodus chapter 12 and the 22 verse says and you shall take a bunch of high hyssop dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the lintel and the two door posts with the blood that is in the basin and none of you shall go out of the door of his house until morning it speaks about personal application you have to personally put the blood of jesus christ over your life hallelujah hallelujah how many of you put your faith hallelujah every single day personally hallelujah and say lord i thank you that the blood speak a better word over our lives i put my faith in the blood of jesus christ i believe that this blood hallelujah i speak it over, over i sprinkle it over i apply it over over every area of my life and it makes the devil blind hallelujah our faith in the blood makes us unbeatable unconquerable indestructible undefeatable hallelujah praise the lord so there is three title to this message 
because we are going to speak about uh, on the blood in three categories number one the surpassing power of his blood number two the superlative power of his blood number three the supernatural power of his blood the surpassing power number one the surpassing power of his blood number two the superlative power of his blood number three the supernatural power of blood everybody say the surpassing power of his blood the superlative power of his blood the supernatural power of his blood hallelujah Amen. the surpassing means it goes beyond what you can do for yourself or what the religion can do for you it's because of the blood that you are saved the surpassing power of the blood of Jesus Christ I think it was Charles Spurgeon who said the prince of preachers that one fourth of the messages that is preached by any preacher should be on the blood of Jesus Christ Amen. hallelujah because it instills faith into our heart so what is the surpassing power of the blood of Jesus Christ why is blood so important what happens if you lose all the blood you know the simple answer hallelujah what happens if you lose all your blood you die hallelujah we die why do we need the blood of Jesus for life Amen. why is the blood of Jesus important for life for ex Genesis chapter 9 and the fourth verse says but you shall not eat flesh with its life that is its blood it says the life is in the blood you shall not eat of it Leviticus 17 14 says for it is the life of all the flesh the blood sustains its life blood equal to life why do we as Christians say abortion is sin because when the man's sperm and the woman's egg meet together there is a tiny small growth and it's got a red dot to it there is life in it life has begun there so you terminate the baby you're murdering killing the baby it's a sin because the life is in the blood Amen. why do we need the blood of Jesus because the Bible says the blood was used for atonement number one atonement hear these words atonement in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22 says and almost all things that by the law purged with blood and without the shedding of blood there is no remission Leviticus 17 11 says for the life of the flesh is in the blood for I've given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls for it is the blood that make an atonement for the soul Leviticus 14 20 says and the priest shall offer the burnt offering and the grain offering on the altar so that the priest shall make an atonement for him and he shall be clean the atonement for our sin the atonement for our souls in the Old Testament a family would bring an animal and they would give it to the priest and the Bible says the priest shall take the sacrifice shed the blood and make atonement for the family to be clean hallelujah in the New Testament it is not the animal it is in the word atonement is only used once and that is in the book of Romans chapter 5 verse 11 and not only so but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have now received the atonement Amen. why it is used once because atonement means at one meant at one payment praise the Lord Amen. hallelujah Amen. through one sacrifice God's wrath is taken away Amen. the sacrifice of Jesus Christ Oh hallelujah at one payment at one meant at one sacrifice shanda oh the wrath of God has been taken away hallelujah pastor was saying a story which I really liked in Africa in a particular village once a young boy fell into a pit and he was crying inside the pit and an old man heard this young boy crying and both of them are in the pit he went to help the boy inside the pit and now both of them are caught in the pit and while the old man was trying to help this boy out of the pit a poisonous snake called snake called black mamba came and bit the old man and then it went on to bite the young boy and both of them started crying and suddenly the people of the village came and took both of them out of that pit both of them out of that hole and they saw the old man have already died but the younger person the old man have already dead but the younger person was still alive the reason being when the black mamba bit the old man it released all the poison there were no more poison remained in that snake so the second time when the snake bit hallelujah the younger boy the although the younger boy was 
bitten but there was no poison that was released on the younger boy hallelujah Amen. Amen. blessed be the name of the Lord Amen. and that's the reason that the doctors found out it in, it had injected all the poison to the man even though after that the snake bit the little boy there was no more poison what does it mean Jesus on the cross he took the entire poison Amen. and crushed the head of the serpent Amen. that's why the devil hallelujah has tried to bite us but there's no poison hallelujah the devil can hallelujah try to bite us might have managed to bite us but we are still alive because all the poison have been hallelujah released on the cross hallelujah all the wrath has been released taken it on the cross hallelujah and jesus destroyed the head of the devil hallelujah that he cannot touch the child of the living god Amen. we are free and we are whole and we are safe and we are authoritative we are powerful Amen. the devil has nothing in us hallelujah there's no more poison lift your hands and say no more poison because of the blood no poison because of the blood atonement means the sacrifice atonement because of the sacrifice of Jesus no more poison otherwise we would have died but because we put our faith in the sacrifice of Jesus because he took the poison we have atonement no more poison that's why we need to stay right under the blood Amen. we need to stay right under the blood Amen. that's why Bible says you have not come to Mount Sinai with fear and trembling you have come to Mount Jerusalem Amen. hallelujah the city of God the spirits of the just men are perfect and the blood of Jesus speak a better word than the blood of Abel hallelujah that's the place our spirits have been made perfect and the blood of Jesus Christ speak a better word over our lives God looks at with mercy God looks at with compassion the devil can't touch us when we are under the merciful God when the mercy of God hallelujah is looking at us no devil hallelujah who can separate us from the love of God what can the devil touch us how can the devil harm us come on somebody we are under the miracle mercy of God victory by the blood of Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah the second word that we want to look to the this evening Hebrews chapter 9 verse 11 and 12 if you have the Bible but Christ being Come, a high priest of good things to come by greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to stay not of his building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but his own blood he entered. But by his own blood he entered once into the holy place, into the presence of God, having obtained eternal redemption for us. The word redemption of forgiveness for us. Hallelujah. In the Old Testament, the word for sacrifice. Uh, for the sacrifice of our sins would the priest would uh, atone for the people of God was used the word remission the remission of your sins when you sin you go with the sacrifice for the remission of your sins hallelujah that means when you hallelujah come come back after the remission the sin will also come back to you into your life but when Jesus died on the cross it was not just the remission hallelujah it was forgiveness too blessed be the name of the Lord hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord it is like when you go to a doctor and have a cancer and if the cancer is not growing or spreading the doctors will use the phrase cancer is in remission hallelujah but if the uh, cancer is going to come back they won't say that hallelujah so in the Old Testament, the blood of the animals could not could only give you the mission of sins, but never had a guarantee about tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Ram Pratash Patora Brantarastarete. Sparada Raskarada Raskare Rutarabastarada Ram. Proda Brastarada Ratara de Saratara. Hallelujah. Today through the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Certain cancers will not come back. Amen. Certain sins won't come back. Amen. Because not only it's in remission, it's forgiven. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is forgiveness of sins. Amen. Forgiveness means, 
hallelujah when we receive forgiveness that which has come will not come back Amen. that which was there will not come back Amen. it's not only remission hallelujah praise the lord what the doctors can't guarantee the lord can guarantee praise the lord there is no more sickness sin curse that is going to come back in jesus mighty and precious name hallelujah ram prathos patare brot re bes to rotha bahas tara darat tara dare dare amen the bible says we have eternal forgiveness because of the sacrifice of jesus eternal forgiveness that's what the word used there who have bought an eternal redemption which means our past sins are forgiven our present sins are forgiven our future sins are forgiven amen does that mean that we have a license to sin no the really born again person will never use the future forgiveness as a license to sin hallelujah that is the license to live a victorious life amen praise the lord hallelujah because we have the new nature of god and the new nature does not tell us hallelujah the new nature does not tell us to go and sin again the new nature tell us to life of victory through the blood of the lamb but if you stumble into sin you as a christian we've been hearing you don't walk into sin you stumble into sin you don't practice sin you might stumble into sin if so bible says we have forgiveness through the blood of jesus christ because born again people don't walk into sin if you fall then you have forgiveness then a eternal forgiveness jesus paid it all hallelujah in colossians chapter 1 verse 14 says in whom we have redemption through the blood even the forgiveness of sins everyone is looking for forgiveness when you have done something wrong and go to jesus confess it's beautiful because he's forgiven you forgiven you hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord that confession that acknowledgement removes the sin into a place where it cannot come back hallelujah rava shata brote beste roku brotos romans 3:23 says all have sinned and come short of the glory of god all have sinned and come short of the glory of god some people say i'm not a great sin i'm not done great sin but this verse means everyone has fallen short of the glory that word glory means character everyone has fallen short of the character of jesus christ hal paras patara brota re baste re de all have sinned you might not have murdered somebody you might not have done something terrible but if you have fallen from the expectation of god about you you are short of what god ex- what of the glory of god what god is expected of you Amen. so we all need forgiveness it's not whether you are ter- terrible person or not hallelujah i know some of you say okay past my sins are forgiven because you know from all the sin that came from adam you know we is removed from our lives but sin does not mean that just that it says when you move away from the expectation of god Hallelujah the blood of Jesus cleanses us to God's expectation it enables us empowers us to be inside God's expectation not even our expectation but God's expectation let may you have an experience like that in the name of Jesus God freely forgives us through his son Jesus Christ amen. hallelujah amen why is blood so important number third was reconciliation reconciliation reconcile means to make peace colossians 1:20 20 and 21 says and having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him i say whether there be things in earth or things in heaven and you that were sometime alienated and the enemies in your mind by wicked works yet now he has reconciled once you were god's enemy yet now through the cross he has reconciled he had made peace through the blood of his cross no other way through the blood of his cross not your good works your impeccable character in front of people no that cannot bring peace with god you have peace with god through the blood of jesus christ now you was alienated you were the enemies hallelujah your mind was into wicked ways but now everybody said now, now. through the blood of jesus christ we have access 
to God's peace. We are reconciled, reconciled. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 18 to 21 says, And all these things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. To wit, that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and that had committed unto the unto us the word of reconciliation and has committed unto us the word of reconciliation now we are the ambassadors of Christ as though God did beseech you by us we pray you in Christ's stead that you be reconciled to God for he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God the Bible says we were alienated, but we were reconciled. Not only we were reconciled, the entire world was reconciled through the blood. That's why the mercy of God is not uh, constrained to the church. It is flowing into the entire world. Hallelujah. Praise God. When God reconciled, he would have, hallelujah, praise the Lord, made this grace available for every person who is living and who is going to live in this world to receive Jesus. And when you receive him, your names will be written in the book of life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the Bible says not only so we have given a ministry of reconciliation. Every time when you come to the Lord's table, make sure that you are reconciled to God. Hallelujah. And you are reconciled to the people around you to be at peace. The Bible says pursue peace because the ministry of reconciliation. That's, we, that's why we don't Hallelujah, entertain divorce. We are called to a ministry of reconciliation in marriages with a ministry, especially this week we are praying for marriages. I pray supernatural reconciliation to take place in the name Amen. of the Lord. Amen. Oh, Shandara. Every alienation towards each other be broken in the name of the Lord. Every enmity towards each other to be broken in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I call the families united Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says, Hallelujah. The another word that is given to us in Exodus chapter 12, verse 4. And if the household to be too little for the lamb, if the household to be too little for the lamb, the Bible never says the lamb is never too small for the house. You could be a joint family, you could be 10 to 20 people staying in the same house. But this says, if your house is little, bring the people around you, the neighbors, the people. Because the lamb is huge. The lamb is for the house. Amen. Hallelujah. When you come before the lodge table, come as a family. The husband should be taking the lodge table. Together with the family, not in one room. Hallelujah. To be reconciled to each other. Hallelujah. Not in different rooms. To be in one room. Enjoying. Partake of the banquet of the Lord. It's a ministry of reconciliation. You have peace with God with each other. If you have hurt each other. You can give forgiveness. Ask forgiveness. Reconciliation. And when we look through the Bible. It's not only reconciliation. There's another word. That which we want to come into. The third one. It's called redemption. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There is atonement. There is uh, forgiveness. There is reconciliation. And there is atonement. Hallelujah. And there is redemption. Sorry. Redemption. Amen. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. In whom we have redemption through his blood. The forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Redemption. What does that mean? Redeem means to buy back. To buy back. Everybody said to be bought back. The man of God, Charles Swindle, tells a story of a boy who made a wooden boat. He went to play in a small stream of waters near his home. The waters carried the boat away. He lost it. He was very upset and was very sad because he made it. And a couple of days later at a school, a boy held the same boat he had made in his hands. So he said, that's my boat. But the other boy said, I will not give it to you. The other boy responded, too bad. Finders, keepers, 
losers weepers <laughs> and this boy felt very bad the one who has made it so the boy had who had the boat said i will give it to you if you give me one dollar and because the the boy who had made the boat because he made it he loved that boat he would give anything to get that boat back so he gave a dollar and bought the boat back while he was returning home with that boat in his hand he looked at the boat and said you are mine twice number one when i made you number two when i bought you Amen. hallelujah Amen. that's what the lord is telling us hallelujah we are his twice hallelujah praise the lord he has loved us hallelujah he has cared for us he is looking at us and say you are mine twice when i created you when i made you and when i bought you oh come on somebody lift your hands and praise hallelujah the name of the lord victory by the blood of jesus hallelujah i made you you were lost but i bought you Redemption means to buy back. 1 Peter 1, 18 to 19 says, For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, as a lamb without blemish and without spot. You were bought not with silver or gold or a dollar. You don't even get a burger with a dollar. You don't even bought with gold or silver or with money. But with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Precious blood. No matter how much money you have. All the silver and all the gold cannot buy your soul. You are bought by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You were bought with the blood of Jesus Christ. Say I am bought by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I have redeemed you. Just in between these talks you need to just thank the Lord. Just flow into it. Get it, get it into your spirit. Hallelujah. Wow. 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 Look at me. Look at who I am. Huh? You need to look at yourself. Look at who I am. I've been atoned for. I've been forgiven. Hallelujah. I pray. I've been reconciled. I've been redeemed. Come on. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Be not ordinary. Be a precious in the sight of God. Lift your hands and say, I'm precious. Acts chapter 20, verse 28 says, Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to feed the church of God which he has purchased with his own blood he has redeemed us he has purchased us same word the church is not a building church is you and me and he says he's purchased us purchased us with the blood of jesus Christ. will you give it to anybody's hands that which is costly will you give anybody's give you give will you will, will you will you in any way Share it with somebody who you have, who you who you have, uh, 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 who, 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 with whom you know, which which was not you know things that you bought with the sweat of your blood, with the sweat of your bro, with the everything that God had, He bought you. He purchased you with His own Son. Do you think He's going to share you to somebody? No, Bible says you were like that which God found out a pearl with great price. He bought, he saw it in the field, he gave everything he has. You are a pearl of great price. You are a pearl, he will not uh, let it go. He will not share. Not even for a day. He doesn't like that. Bible says he's a jealous God. Hallelujah. He doesn't exchange you again. The devil says, I'll give you something better. There is nothing better. The Lord said, There's nothing better. 
look at the value put that value what God has put hallelujah I feel such a freedom to some people's minds put that value put that value on you that's why 1 Corinthians 6 19 20 says what you, what know you not that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit and the Spirit of God is in the inside of you which you are not your own for you are bought with a price therefore glorify God in your body in your spirit which are God's don't you know that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit is purchased you you are this temple you are not your own you are bought with a price therefore therefore glorify God in your body you coming and putting your body in front of this YouTube video in the front of this online broadcast it's glorifying God in your body Amen. pastor went to a church in Africa and the youngsters had the scripture written on the bracelet on their hands and pastor asked uh, the pastor of the church why are the youngsters you know putting this bracelet on their hands I said they've all come to the altar to make a decision they have come to the altar to make a decision they said we will this 1 Corinthians 6 19 20 bracelet and they've said we have separated our body for Jesus we will not have any kind of sexual union outside of the marriage till we come of age till we meet the bride or the bridegroom of our lives we will keep our body holy unto God we will not allow any unclean thing hallelujah to ever touch our body hallelujah praise the Lord Amen. that they want any any time of their lives that they would not give to his sexual immorality but to keep their lives unto holy unto God hallelujah because they understood they were bought with a price hallelujah praise the Lord and if you make that commitment hallelujah they said they believed they're married to Christ that's what the sign of that bracelet said they're married married to Christ and that bracelet with that scripture was a sign of that hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord would you for a lifetime say I put this bracelet in marriage or outside my I will never commit immorality or give my body to anything that I am clean my eyes my ears my thoughts my body my fingers my hugs nothing will have sin inside it come on somebody your body are the members the Lord has paid his price for glorify the Lord through your members redeemed by God your he owns you the Bible says in Hebrews 13 12 wherefore I come to the next one hallelujah the next one Hebrews 13 12 wherefore Jesus also that he might sanctify that people with his own blood suffered without the gate to sanctify his people he sanctifies you with his own blood sanctification means to be made holy to be made perfect you are made holy through the blood of Jesus Christ redemption after you're redeemed you are made holy to be like him Amen. Paul writes he calls the believers the saints not perfected perfected to be made holy righteousness leading to holiness If you walk in the light as he is in the light, 1 John 1 7 says, We have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanseth from all sin. Amen. He cleanses us. There's a continual cleansing happening in the lives of the believer as you walk in the word of God. Amen. As you're listening to now, even without knowing, the word is cleansing you, the blood is cleansing you. Amen. Which empowers you to walk in the light again which gives a desire to walk in the light, which gives a love for the light, which gives us a position to remind you that you are the, called into the light, you've been translated into light, you're not there, you are here. Amen. Called out of darkness into the marvelous light. Ah, yeah, yeah. Amen. It is marvelous, the Bible says. To a believer, the light is marvelous. The God's word is marvelous. Hallelujah. Amen. 
the bible says in romans 5 9 how much more than being justified by his blood we shall be saved from the wrath through him shall be saved hallelujah the next one is justification how much more than having been justified by, by his blood we shall be saved from the wrath to him wrath from him justified justified sanctified justified redeemed sanctified justified much more than now being justified by his blood we shall be saved from the wrath through him justification what is justification just as if I have never sinned Amen. hallelujah just as if I have never sinned you don't have to live in guilt and regret all the days of your life if you choose to you can but the Bible says you have the blood of Jesus that justifies you it's a legal term it means made righteous before the eyes of the law God's righteous requirements through the law God's righteous requirements demanded a law it demanded a sacrifice the Bible says the soul that sins has to die it demanded a sacrifice Jesus took our place because Jesus took our place we can never be held guilty again come on somebody I remember an old story which goes on like this that a man murdered somebody but instead of the murdering man they caught somebody else brought into the court the judge held the man accountable the man actually was not committed the sin but for some reasons with the lawyers and the police officers all come together brought up evidences held the man was not committed accountable and the court the judge released uh, capital punishment upon this man and he was sentenced to die and he was sentenced for capital punishment and he died he was taken to the gallows hung him and he died later the police found out that it was not that person it was actually this person who was murdered but because one person has already taken the punishment you cannot hold this person guilty that's what happened on the cross we were guilty God chose to put Jesus on the cross instead of us now we cannot be held guilty we are justified through that man we are justified through the second Adam we are justified through the first Adam we are held guilty hallelujah through the second Adam he took Jesus took that we should have been taking now we cannot be whole guilty is already paid completed finished sentence out it's a legal term now how do I get this I hope it's getting into your heart this morning my object of faith has to be the blood of Jesus how do you get it an encounter with the blood of Jesus say an encounter lift your hands and say come praise him praise him thank you Lord hallelujah hallelujah Oh, as they listen to your word, Lord, let there be an encounter through the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus Christ set the people free, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Release, Lord. Hallelujah. Each one of life, O oh Lord, into the God-given destiny. Thank you, Jesus. Slaves for 430 years, the Israelites in Egypt, one night, they applied the blood 
on their houses one night of encounter with the blood of Jesus Christ the Bible says they came out of Egypt as a mighty army of God the slavishness inside their mind were broken hallelujah the chains over their body were broken come on hallelujah thank you Jesus that slavishness to Pharaoh hallelujah were broken they rose up as an army of the living God come on somebody may your children hallelujah rise up as the army of the living God may you as a family rise up as an army of God may you have supernatural strength rising in the inside of you in the name of Jesus it was the shadow had much more power how much more a real encounter with the blood of Jesus Christ through the substance in the New Testament Amen. we can never be sick we can never be slaves to sin again 1 John 5 says there are three that bears witnesses in heaven the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit and there are three that bear witnesses on earth the spirit the water and the blood in John 5 uses the phrase we have overcome because we are born again of the spirit the water and the blood we have overcome the Holy Spirit convicts you the water of God's word the water speaks about the waters of baptism the Holy Spirit convicts us of our unbelief the water signifies the waters of baptism but and then for your victory from sin and from iniquity come the blood of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. The spirit removes. Hallelujah. The spirit removes unbelief. Convicts. Removes. The water takes us from the position of sin to the position of the children of God. It makes us dead to sin. It releases us into the resurrection power. But the blood is the key. It starts all through the blood. The Bible says it cleanses us from iniquity. The sin and the consequences have been removed. That's what that word iniquity means. Sin and with all its consequences. Some of you are worried about the consequences of certain things that you've committed. God said, my blood. Mm. Many believers know it in their head, but they don't experience it. But let that not be your portion tonight. I pray that you will have an encounter with the blood of Jesus Christ. May this become a reality. May the applying of the blood, believing in the blood, speaking forth the blood. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Release you from every slavish habit, every sin. And may you be more than conquerors through the blood of Jesus Christ. Romans 3, 24 to 25 says, Being justified freely. Everybody say freely by the grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God so this verse brings us to another word not only justification but propitiation propitiation and appeasing of God's wrath that's what it means Propitiation through the faith in his blood means an appeasing from the wrath of God. He says to declare his righteousness for the remission of the sins that are past. God has passed over the sins of our past. Ah. Amen. I told you in the days before that there is past has no connection, old has gone. Your past, God is not going to touch you with the past problems God is not going to if you don't go back the devil even the devil can't have have the power to touch you it's all in in the in the revelation of the word of God why do you need the blood because you have access to God only through the blood of Jesus Christ Hebrews 10 19 now he says well, we come before the why 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 do we believe in this blood why do we need this blood because number one we have access number two the bible says having therefore brother boldness to enter the holy of holies by the blood of jesus the boldness ephesians 2 3 says but now in christ jesus you are far away come near nearness boldness nearness access wow this evening as you're listening boldness 
nearness, access. Lift your hands and say, I have access to God through the blood of Jesus. I'm access, I've access, I've access. Say, I have access, I've access, I have access. When you understand that, you'll understand you're under open heavens. We'll always have the boldness. Thank you, Jesus. You have complete victory through the blood of Jesus. Revelation 12:11 says, And they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to death. You are an overcomer through the power of His holy blood. So, whenever the word used, Hallelujah, blood is used, it says, you are an overcomer. How many of you believe you are an overcomer? When you encounter with the blood, you feel like, oh my God, I can overcome anything. Amen. You know, you don't play victim, you don't play drama, self-pity, self-party. Sometimes you go through those thoughts, but those thoughts will not get into a place that it will destroy your life. Before that, you'll overcome those thoughts. Amen. That's the difference between an unbeliever and a believer. Believers also go through the same thoughts. But he will not take thoughts to the point that it destroy him. Because he knows he has the blood. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he knows he has the blood. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's what the correct tune there. Hallelujah. He knows. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Victory by the blood of Jesus. That's right anointed deliverance happening hallelujah the revelation flowing hallelujah pray in the holy spirit hallelujah is the glory moment hallelujah filled with the glory of god all the miracles that you need is flowing into your homes. Divarios Kabati Bari Gatara Dhatara Divara Dharashkaratara Dire Labradus Patari Bras Paterial Brotala Bahastare. Jesus, 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 oh we worship you. We bless your holy name, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. Jesus, 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 thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. We thank you, we are preserved by the blood. In Jesus name, thank you Jesus. We brag about a lot of things. Would you brag about the blood of Jesus? Hallelujah. So number one, we speak about the surpassing. Hallelujah. Amen. The surpassing power of the blood. Number two, the superlative power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. What does superlative means? Greater, better. What can be better than being forgiven? Revelations 1, 5, 6 says, And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and has made us kings and priests unto God and his Father to him, be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. You are not just sins are forgiven. Why it is superlative? Why it says it's better? What, are the, what is that? Better than being forgiven. The Bible says, not only you're forgiven, but you're made a priest and a king. You have authority, dominion as a priest to intercede before God on behalf of your family and people to get answers from God. As a king to rule. It is not once a sinner, always a sinner. I once was a sinner, now I'm a saint. I'm a priest. I'm a king through the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm a royalty. Hallelujah. Oh, are you getting this? Are you getting this? I'm a royalty. Say it out. I'm a royalty by the blood of Jesus Christ. May that be your portion. You are a royalty. You're made. It's not that you made yourself. You're made. Oh, you are made. Priests and kings. Hallelujah. In the old covenant, they used the blood of animals. But Jesus said in Matthew 26, 28, this is my blood. My blood has made you. Not just forgiven. Made you. This is my blood. If the blood of Jesus, blood of animal could deliver the children of Israel from slavery, how much more the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So superlative how? You're not just forgiven, 
you became a part number two not only priests and kings you become the part of the body of christ i told you the other day 1 corinthians 12 13 you're baptized into the body oh hallelujah some people still over years of christian walk still have not understood you have been hallelujah praise the lord injected you have been hallelujah baptized become a part of the body of christ as a visible part is the local church a local vision not when you come to bangalore you are in one church you go to japan you go to another church which church god has planted you in you cannot be in five churches in five cities in five different times you need to be a part of the body of christ you need to catch an impartation and anointing wherever god is using there is an identity you need to have even if geographically or you need to know where your anointing is flowing personal anointing will only take you 50 percent of where god wants you to be you need to be connected to the body of christ where god planted you to finish the course of your life Amen. oh hallelujah We all look for better things. Somebody has a phone, you want a better phone. Somebody's hair is good, you want a better haircut. But how many of you would ever say, I want a better spiritual life? You say, better car, better shirt, better belt. But how many of you say, hey, his, his is good, but I want a better spiritual life. 1 Peter 1, 13, 14 says wherefore gird up the loins of your mind be sober and the hope to the end of the grace that has been brought to you are the revelation of jesus christ as obedient children not fashioning yourself according to the former lust in your ignorance but as he has called you is holy so be holy in all manner of conversation says gird up the loins of your mind your mind is wandering gird it up when the message is going on don't allow your mind to wander gird it up hallelujah be sober think sensibly because jesus is coming back for his church so think sensibly how because of the blood of jesus hallelujah because of the encounter of the blood of jesus it gives you a sober mind everybody is lying so can i lie no you're better than that it's a superlative life Obedient children, not rebellious. The one who follows the instructions, not fashioning yourself according to the formal lust that you did in your ignorance. Don't be ignorant. Don't be looking at us, what other people are doing in your life. The Bible says, be sober. Say, be sober. For the Bible says, the one who is called you is holy. What you have to, when you have to live right, you have to live right. Why? Because he is called you is holy. Why? Because his righteousness leads to holiness. Why? Because Jesus living inside of you lives the right. Amen. Hallelujah. Once a person said, I want to retaliate to that person. Then he said, then I remembered I'm a believer. Some of you, you know, would say, I didn't say anything back to that person. Because pastor, I just remember that we are all part of a Petra church. So I didn't want to retaliate back. No, not because of that. Not because of that. Because He is holy. And we are holy. You have something superlative. You have a Father in Heaven. We don't want to give tit for tat. Because we have superlative life. We don't want to defend ourselves. Because we have a superlative. We have one who defends us. We don't have to. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring somebody down because they brought us down. No. Because we have a superlative life. We have one who lifts us up. If somebody puts us down, we have even lifting comes. Hebrews 13, 20 to 21. Says, now the God of peace that brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will. Working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ to him, 
be glory forever and ever amen powerful making you perfect in every good work something superlative to do his will making perfect what is superlative what is better better than your will is god's will for you better than your plans is god plans for you because of the blood because of the blood i pray hallelujah that you subdue your will to do his will through the blood of the lamb hallelujah we pray the lord's prayers not my will but your will be done because his is the best amen because of the blood lift up your hands and say not my will but your will be done the bible says the backslider is filled with his own ways in his heart but every backslider this evening turn his heart back to god something better i finish with this the surpassing power of his blood the superlative power of the blood and the supernatural power of his blood revelation 5:12 says saying with a loud voice worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power riches wisdom strength honor glory and blessing supernatural power release a sevenfold blessing into your life number 1 power worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power jesus is omnipotent he is all powerful he doesn't need power but he has slain to receive power for our sake to give it to us he was slain to get back that power that we have lost and give it back to us open your mouth and say jesus received the power to give it to us you are not powerless you have power over sin and satan you have power through the blood of jesus christ the children of israel in egypt did not come out weak the bible says they came out fully joyful strong they came out strong if the old testament saints had strength bible says new testament saints finally be strong know who you are hmm number 2 riches they did not come out without any money exodus 12 says the night they stepped out of egypt they plundered all egypt they had treasures with them for building of the tabernacle in the wilderness they had riches so huge for 430 years of slavery where they were not paid they had every day wages plus interest they could got it out when they came out plus interest some of you the lord is saying for the times that you have lost god is going to release you into a time wages plus interest all the salary gone plus interest is going to come upon you receive it all the business that was down plus interest all the lockdown business decline plus interest oh we give you praise and glory in the house of god i release it in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah god is a god of justice they worked as slaves 430 years god had just not set them free into a promised land empty they plundered and took all the treasures that's why pharaoh and the army was behind them hallelujah number 3 wisdom jesus is the wisdom of god the bible says he received wisdom for me what is wisdom ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 10 beautiful scripture if the iron be blunt and he do not wet the edge then must he put to more strength but wisdom is profitable to direct wisdom is profitable to direct the israelites did not have a compass showing which way to go god directed them when jesus died he received wisdom to give it to us that we shall be directed I pray from this moment onwards for the rest of your life till Jesus comes back in great glory. I pray that you shall be supernaturally directed by the wisdom of God. Hallelujah to your life, to your children, to your home, to your ministry, to everything God has put under you, to your finances, to your business, to your decisions. May the wisdom of God direct you in the name of Jesus. Say receive it. Say catch it in the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. It's mine. The Bible says number next one strength mm. Balaam said they have a strength of a unicorn the Israelites mm. everybody said mm. <laughs> hallelujah strength of a unicorn hallelujah the one who came to kiss I mean curse basically have to kiss his feet and go Praise the Lord. 
some of you, the people who came to curse you, they will bow before you and go because the Jesus is inside. The strength of Jesus is inside. Mm. Honor. That is so needed. You don't want to be put to shame. God is giving you honor. The children of Israel in the wilderness for 40 years did not go begging. They did not go begging. We don't have to beg. We don't have to say, please. Hallelujah. Please, Jesus. We are set free. We are saved. We know we have a land flowing with milk and honey. But right now, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Right now, pray for honor. Hallelujah. He gave us honor. Hallelujah. He gave them honor. How many of you will pray? Lift your hands and say, Lord, pray for honor. You will not be put to shame in this land, in your life. Hallelujah. God never allowed them to beg anywhere. God, till they reached the promised land, they did not have to beg. God released manna from heaven. That's the child of God's portion. Even when you are going through a process still plentiful will come some of you are going through a process but god is go opening other avenues other sources with till you come to a main source it's always flowing he divided the seas he brought forth water he broke the rock he divided the rivers he supernaturally provided for their needs their clothes did not wear off their shoe did not wear out they're walking through the wilderness their heads held up high for everybody to see. I pray that if the Old Testament had such, their heads were high, held high, they're given such honor. Oh, in the New Testament, I pray that you shall never be put to shame. Shall never be put to shame. You shall always be held up in high honor. That shameful days are gone in the name of the Lord. Amen. None of us ever look to him, look to him, look to him, shall ever be put to shame. Lift your hands and say, I have honor in the name of Jesus. Amen. And next is glory, the weight. In Joshua chapter 2, Rahab said, We have heard that the Lord did through to you, to the other armies and to the nations, because they came under the blood of the Lamb. She said, look at that weight that God's people has. We heard what God did to other people, because you are under the blood of the Lamb. Look at the weight of His glory. God gave His glory, that weight. Even the enemies will get terrified. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Receive it now, Lord. In Jesus' name. Blessing. The final line of finish with this. He gave us blessing. Balaam could not curse them because they were so blessed. You are so blessed through the blood of Jesus Christ. He took your curse on the cross of Calvary 2,000 years ago. Lift your hands and say, blessed because of the blood of Jesus. I'm blessed because of the sacrifice of Jesus. Place your hands on your head and say, I'm blessed because of the Lordship of Jesus. Tonight I want you to receive this word. Meditate on this word. Close your eyes. Hallelujah. And say I'm strong. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All the weak hallelujah areas in your life be made strong. Hallelujah. May you have an encounter today with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus at the garden of Gethsemane. He sweated blood. Even today there is a church called the church of all nations there. Gethsemane means oil pressed. Oil is pressed. Oil comes out. Jesus went there. He prayed. Sometimes we sometimes pray and sweat blood. But Jesus sweated blood. He had three people. Peter, James and John in the garden. The previous week he had thousands. But pastor said it's nice to have fans of 10,000, 15,000. But what matters is friends. In the garden, Jesus had only three friends. Peter, James and John. Thank God for the friends that you have. When Judas came and kissed him, he could smell the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you going through some pressing? Trust the Lord. Amen. Trust the blood that sweat for you. Amen. After a pressing. There is a resurrection that is going to flow. As we come to the table of the Lord, there are people who have betrayed you, wounded you, hurt you. You think you are alone. Maybe we are going through that pressure. Pray, trust the Father. Trust the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. He was wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. Amen. We are whole. 
He sweat the blood that we don't have to struggle through. Even in our struggles, there is an oil that flows through. Even when we think that you are pressed, you will not fall there. Because Jesus felt that you can stand up. Today as you listen to this word, may you stand up in the blood of Jesus. May you stand up for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. May your weak hands be made strong. May your tiring legs be made strong. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, let's close our eyes in prayer. I want you to remember the sacrifice of Jesus. I want you to look at the way he was dragged. The Bible says they took him to Gilboth, Gabata, Gabata, where he stood before Pilate. They tied him, they flogged him, they placed a bunch of thorns on his head, they placed a wooden cross. And he was carried through the streets of Jerusalem. Many times he fell and he got up again. But one historian Joseph was saying, once he fell, he could not get up. But yet he got up for you. He went from Gethsemane to Gabatha to Golgotha to the place of skulls. They were nailed him. His hands, his feet. See. Hallelujah. Pierced his heart. He shed his blood for you on that cross. He forgave those who hurt him and said, Father, Father. Forgive. They know not know what they are doing. On the cross he cried out, Eli, Eli, lama sabatini. My God, my God. Why have thou forsaken me? He did so that you may be reconciled to the Father through his blood. We have peace with God. Let us remember the sacrifice of Jesus. Conscious of it. 2000 years ago. May he honor that sacrifice. A lamb before shearers. The Bible says he allowed himself to be beaten, plucked, punished. It is not a letters that we read in the Bible. He went through it. Can you hear the cry that he had? Our fingers will touch a pin and we cry. Look at the cry that he had. Put your trust in his blood. The cry of the Lamb of the Cross for you. He has redeemed you, cleansed you, forgiven you. You can't be a slave. You are not a slave. You can't be a slave. If you put your faith in the blood, you are not a prisoner of the devil. Jesus crushed his head on the cross 2000 years ago. As we partake his bread. Let's thank the Lord. That God gave himself for us. Help us to rever him. Honor him. Love him. We commit our lives to him. As we hold the bread in our hands. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23. For I received from the Lord. What I also passed on to you on the night. When he was betrayed. The Lord Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks. Broke it and said this is my body. Which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me as you hold the bread in your hands. Know that you don't need to be ashamed. You don't need to be put down again. In the name of the Lord. Jesus cried. The cry of the Lamb. He got up that you can stand up. He sweat blood that every depression from your minds and madness from your soul and senselessness will go and be replaced with wisdom for direction. As we partake of the bread in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. As you take the cup in your hands. Normally people partake the cup to forget. Normal people drink to forget. They get drunk, those can forget. But here Bible says we drink, we partake of the cup that we can remember. Amen. The sacrifice of Jesus. Of his mercy towards us, his great love. God did not send his son to condemn the world, but to save the world. As you hold this cup, every condemnation is already gone through Jesus Christ, through the blood. Say so thank you. Lift your one hand towards heaven. Say thank you for your blood. May his blood speak over your better word than the blood of fable. May every blessing that is pronounced in the Holy Scripture or the blood of Jesus be our portion. Be our portion. That's right. Every blessing. Everything. You have given all things to us. Everything that pertains to life and godliness be ours. You receive it, Father. 
in Jesus name thank you Lord wash us cleanse us O Lord deliver us we receive this blessing of your holy blood O Lord we receive the sevenfold blessing right now wisdom honor glory power riches strength it's all ours in Jesus name Amen Amen Bible says as often <clears throat> as you eat this bread and drink the cup you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes hallelujah church of the living God if you have partaken of the blood of Jesus Christ the Bible says he is going to come back to a church not to a defeated church Amen. but to a victorious church Amen. You are victorious through the blood of Jesus. We proclaim that we are victorious, we are redeemed, we are purchased, we are, hallelujah, praise the Lord, have the supernatural power of the Lord residing in the inside of us. Hallelujah. If you believe that, lift your hands and bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Victory through the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give you praise and we give you glory and honor in the name of Jesus. Father, as I commit the church into your hands, Rampa, Shambra, Toba, Sate, Brati, Aspatora, I release the supernatural power of your holy blood the superlative power of your holy blood the surpassing power of the holy blood hallelujah maybe supernatural miracles Lord maybe better lives Lord hallelujah be made priests and kings hallelujah Stotram Lord made holy unto God that's right the church be made holy unto God through the power of your holy blood O oh Lord hallelujah in the name of Jesus Lord I commit the church into your hands I bless them in the name of the Father and of our Lord Jesus Christ and of the Holy Spirit in Jesus mighty and precious name father we pray amen 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 God bless you Jesus Christ is Lord don't forget tomorrow Saturday we have a special time for the families we are going to gather again at 6 30 this week again to pray for the families and to release a word of hallelujah breakthrough and blessing over family members so I'll meet you on Saturday from 6 30 to 9 30 and then Sunday 10 to 1 don't forget to join it's quarantine but we are in prayer Amen. God bless you Amen. when I am down and all oh, my soul so will free when troubles come and my heart burns and be and I am still Until you come and sit a while with me You raise me up so I can stand on mountains You raise me up so walk on stormy seas And I am strong when I am on your shoulders You raise me up to more than I can be And there is no life No life without its hunger Each restless heart Beats so imperfectly And when you come And I am filled with wonder Sometimes I think I claim eternity You raise me up so I can stand on mountains You raise me up to walk on stormy seas And I am strong when I am on your shoulders You raise me up to more than I can be You raise me up So I can stand on mountains You raise me up To walk on stormy seas And I am strong When I am on your shoulders You raise me up 
into more than I can be You raise me up into more than I can be